Let the motors mania begin. Where everybody's close to bed. That's Cobra Stand. Got the red pinstripe. Are you on a rolling chassis? Yeah, yeah, yeah. This one's got a Viper V10. Venom power. That's Cobra. So we got AK Cobra LS7. Candy apple green. With black interior, green stitched. We've got matte black side pipes. This is the RX demo car. Apple. Yeah, candy apple green. So we're talking a, a Chevy LS7 engine, 7 litres. 7 litres! Now this is a bit different. Oh, this is cool. So we got a 650 horsepower LS7 engine in this one as well. Color coded. So the color is a black cherry, cherry red, created by Barry. So we got silver and yellow pinstripes on the metallic black stripes. Modern LED running lights. AK Cobra. Oh, look at these for a matching pair. This one's got a hard top. Please not touch me. Where are we going, yeah? So this is a, a one-off, hand-built. It's an LS7 engine, 650 horsepower. Six-speed gearbox. So these are a special mixed color. 
blue gray, red stripes. Number five and number eight. The matching pair, this one's got a hard top. And there's a rolling chassis from. Um, so yeah, the Crendon 427. So it's one of the UK's most authentic fiberglass Cobra replicas. Um, I took the company over from the original builder and designer, John Kerr, in 2016. Um, out of all the Cobra replicas, it's we our, our main focus is trying to recreate the original style of, uh, of an AC Cobra or Shelby Cobra from the 1960s. So compared to our competitors, we, we, we really try to promote that authenticity. Our chassis package uh, utilizes um, Jaguar XJS running gear. It's a double powder coated mild steel and cold drawn seamless steel tube chassis. Um, as you can see here this is uh, this is a complete all but complete bowl and chassis package. Um, so customers would expect to see exactly what you see here fitted with brake lines and a full bowl and chassis package we would, we would laminate and final fit a body with the bonnet open doors locked and latched onto the chassis with the aluminium panel and engine bay kit in there brake lines in and bled, steering column etc um, for them to then take the kit and add their engine gearbox usually in predominantly for big block or small block V8 their wiring loom, fuel tank, bowl bar etc and then send the car to paint and make it their own which takes us to the completed car that you would see over there. So this is our big factory building um, demo car. And turnkey built, those prices start from somewhere around about the £70,000 for a small block Brendan, um, up to 80, 85 for, for big block Ford Power, rolling chassis kits from around the 18000 mark, but it's always best that on an individual basis people contact us to try and um, try and put an individual package together to suit, suit the needs that they need. Come and check out the XCS Designs Cobras and um, see what we're all about with our camber compensation and anti-roll suspension. Thank you very much. Cheers mate. Cheers Dead. The water thing there. Yes. I had a not a similar concern, right? But the height of the water. Exactly the same one. Yep. So what I've tried to do is that is you know relatively the highest point. Yeah. And I was thinking, how on earth do they bleed properly? And I know some people have had problems. That's, that's exactly. So what that's I'm why I've gone from there, mm -hmm. taken that off. So that's yeah. the highest point. Yeah, and then you know my water level actually is like there, mm. but it it's got a non-return valve in, so oh, it, so okay, it can yeah, just yeah. So it can just way, bleed yeah. it out then. Yeah. Yeah. But yeah, but yeah I had exactly the same concern. Here. How do you how is your head attack you lower than yes. the highest point engine? How do you bleed it all? So yeah. that's why 
I went through that system and I mean, it was more luck than judgment, but fingers crossed, I don't have any heating mm. problems. Goes up to 90, fan kicks in, back down to 80, and it will just yeah, sit there, 90, trickle it? between 80 yeah. and 90 all day long. My Ford is 83. Okay. 83 and 70. Yeah. Yeah. With a couple of fan kicks. How's your fan control? By my ECU, I've got an uh, food injection yeah. on a Ford. It's, it it's the MST Atomic. Yeah. It's got a Daytona style. A hard top on this one. We've got the Daytona style Cobra. And he's always looking from behind to So we got Dax Cobra and we got tire stickers on this one, Shelby Cobra. Nice black with the red stripes, side stripes as well. It's got a Chevy V8, 351. A little block the beast. This is the Northwest Kit Car Owners Club. So we've got Cobras and Westfields. Silver or red lower, nice pack. <laughs> So 
the Cobras are all on their way out now.